All right, so I've got the JLP test coming up in less than a month. It'll be on July 7th. Today is currently June 8th, so just under a month. And I've got to start studying. I've got to practice. So um, I was able to find some of these books. Actually, I ordered them through my school, uh, Genki Jacks, because if I order textbooks through school, then we get a 10% discount as a student. So awesome for that. Uh, this one here is some kanji and vocabulary practice. Comes with a bunch of um, materials, obviously, for me to practice my Japanese. And as you can see, I'm going to be taking the N4, which is one step above N5. So if you don't know about the scoring for uh, the Japanese JLPT, the Japanese Language and Proficiency Test, N5 is the lowest, then it goes 4, 3, 2, 1, 1 being um, beyond fluency. There's <laughs> it's a very high level. Uh, so there's the, the one book, then I got a second one here, which is for reading and listening. Um, again, lots of material, and it does come with... This one doesn't have the actual audio CD. A lot of books in Japan, and I don't know, maybe other areas, just still come with CDs. I don't have a CD player, my laptop does not have a, a CD uh, player, optical drive. Um, but it, you can just go uh, to the website and just download uh, the audio as well. And the third book is this one, the JLPT N4 with 20 practice lessons. So this one is mostly a grammar book, um, very um, heavy at the back there as you can see. It also comes with the, uh, the answer key uh, as well, uh, but this will be much more useful uh, for the style. Um, I can start to take these practice tests, possibly time myself, how long it's actually taking me, and then compare my answers as well at the back of the book. Um, I've also gone to the official uh, JLPT website and downloaded a bunch of sample and practice tests there as well. Audio, um, read-alongs, and then answer keys as well. And if you didn't know, uh, the JLPT is all multiple choice. There's no writing uh, aspect to it. There's no speaking aspect to it. Um, all the listening, reading, grammar, vocabulary, all of that is all multiple choice. So you get um, pretty much like a scantron kind of um, piece of paper that you have to pencil in uh, all of your answers. There's usually four choices um, that you just choose from. So here's kind of uh, a different example that you would actually choose the word that fits appropriately in the order where the star is. So you'll have some examples, possibly, and then you just have to choose in this one, which is the first letter in this four, uh, or first, first word in this four uh, section phrase that you have to fill out. here. These are a couple um, YouTube videos that I like. Uh, these creators are very good at what they offer. Uh, you can watch them obviously anytime and practice them. The thing about JLPT is that, uh, well these channels I mean, is that you do have to watch them. You can just listen to them in the background to just get your listening ability um, up to speed, but you need to see what's happening on the screen so you can actually interpret the answers about what's being said. And that's another thing about watching these videos. You can interpret. You don't 100% have to know exactly what's being said. You can see from the images and what's being said that you can kind of piece together what the actual answer is, even if you don't know it 100%. But anyway, gambate. And the thing about these practice books is um, at the back where the answer section is pretty much is an entire book itself it'll come right out of the back you just got to give it a little tug so there you go it's just its own separate answer book so you can either store this so you don't cheat and don't have the temptation to look at it or you can just um, pull it out and then rever um, review your answers as you're going along so you have to keep, keep clicking back and forth back and forth it just comes out in its own book and you can just Practice as you like.
練習します。